In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Good morning, everyone. And, uh, Good morning. Today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity. The solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity reminds us of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. This is one of those days, uh, one of the days when we celebrate Mass, we try to go through the theology of the Trinity, which for us and for me is a mystery. The whole work of the Trinity is that God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit, all we are involved in our salvation. Bear that in mind, let us call to mind our sins and ask God for his forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contract of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty, interceding for all. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us life everlasting. Amen. Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, our Father, who by sending into the world your word of truth and spirit of sanctification, men known to the human race, your wondrous mystery. Grant us, we pray, that in professing the true faith, we may acknowledge the trinity of eternal glory and adore your unity, powerful in majesty. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Our first reading this morning is a reading from the book of Exodus. Early in the morning, Moses went up Mount Sinai as the Lord had commanded him, taking along the two stone tablets. Having come down in the cloud, the Lord stood with Moses there and proclaimed his name, Lord. Thus the Lord passed before him and cried out, the Lord, the Lord, a merciful and gracious God, slow to anger and rich in kindness and fidelity. Moses at once bowed down to the ground in worship. And then he said, if I find favor with you, O Lord, do come along in our company. This is indeed a stiff-necked people, yet pardon our wickedness and sins and receive us as your own. The word of the Lord. Let us respond. Glory and praise forever. Glory and praise forever. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. And blessed is your holy and glorious name, praiseworthy and exalted above for all ages. Blessed are you in the temple of your holy glory, praiseworthy and glorious above all forever. Glory and praise to you forever. Blessed are you on the throne of your kingdom, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. Glory and praise to you forever. Blessed are you who look into the depths from your throne above the cherubim, praiseworthy and exalted above all forever. 
Our second reading this morning is from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, rejoice. Mend your ways. Encourage one another. Agree with one another. Live in peace, and the God of love and peace will be with you. Greet one another with a holy kiss. All the holy ones greet you. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. The word of the Lord. Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. God so loved the world that he gave his only son so that everyone who believes in him might not perish but might have eternal life. For God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world might be saved through him. Whoever believes in him will not be condemned but whoever does not believe has already been condemned because he has not believed in the name of the only Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. As I said at the beginning of the Mass, today we celebrate the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, and celebrating the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, I, we always remember that it's one of those moments in the life of a priest when you keep thinking about preaching the mystery of the Trinity. But of course, it's, it's, it's a mystery in the sense that we cannot humanly comprehend the relationship and all that is involved in the mystery of the Trinity. But however, the most important thing is the unity of the Trinity. The unity of the Trinity. So for us on this program, for us who are Catholics and for us who are Christians, we truly believe in the Trinity and the formula of the Trinity, for example, in baptism and in the celebration of the sacrament, is very important for us because God the Father God the Son and God the Holy Spirit had been involved from the beginning of salvation in the history of our salvation. The church preaches for us today to understand that this is a difficult time. We need the Trinity more than ever in our life, more now than ever, any moment in our life. We need to understand and learn something in our community. And one of the things that we need to learn is to learn to work together, to be united in faith. We need to be united in prayer and in actions. We need to be united in seeking for justice, for equity. We need to be united in the work of salvation too because we are co-creators. We share in the divinity by the virtue of the fact that Christ became human and gave us salvation. And at the end of life, we will be united with God. So the image of God is in all of us as human beings. And that is something that we have to learn. So my heart reach, reaches out to all those who have been 
talking about unity, about equity, about all this. We, 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 we feel it, and I pray that we will understand that God, from the beginning, seeks us and wants us to be saved. And so when we celebrate the Feast of the Most Holy Trinity, there are things that we remember in our lives. One, let us be one, that God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, and God the Father, they are one God. There, is no, there are no two gods. Never. Three persons in one God. Let us share in that unity. Let us share in that love. Let us be bounded by that love, the love of God. Sometimes I feel that as Christians, we do not understand the love of God. Because if we understand the love of God, is so rich. It's so rich. And we can share this love with one another. We can share this love regardless of who we are or who we think the other person is. The love of God is something that should burn in our hearts. The love of God is something that as Christians we need to practice every day on the street, in the community, in schools, in marketplaces, in our offices. One other thing that I keep thinking about the Trinity is that when you look at God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit in the history of our salvation, there was never a time that God the Father would say, okay, I finished my work, I'm going to leave it for the Son. There was never a time that God the Son said, okay, I'm done now, the Holy Spirit, you go on, I'm going to relax. No. The advocate came after Jesus, but they are working together. Jesus was still, is still present in our life. And God the Father is still present in our life. And so, bearing that in mind, as Christians, we need to continue to work together. We need to continue to practice the faith that is in us. There is no end time to say, oh, I've done the much I can. I cannot do that anymore. I can't do this anymore. When we adore God the Father, when we adore God the Son and God the Holy Spirit, I remember the song of, the song of Thomas Aquinas. Thomas Aquinas composed the hymn Tantumego, and we all know it when we, when we do benediction and we sing this Tantumego. It is a song that when you worship, when you worship this Trinity, the most holy Trinity, and you think of the, 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 the effort, the love that they have for humanity, you can't but share tears. I remember myself as a young boy growing up, I look, always look forward to sitting down and participating in benediction and all that. And each time that song is being uh, 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 chanted or is being sung in the church, I'm always happy. The Blessed Trinity has something to teach us human beings. The Blessed Trinity makes us vulnerable in the sense that we know that we are helpless. We need them. We need the Trinity in our life. The Blessed Trinity gives us that understanding that we have to be united. Bearing that in mind as it may, my dear people of God, I know this is a difficult time. Let us not stop praying for one another. Prayer is the key. Love is very important. Compassion is also another key. As we go on celebrating the feast or the solemnity of the Most Holy Trinity, I will call on all of us to represent the image of God that is in us to everyone that we come across. May we rise to profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and the earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, 
and by the power of the Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and life of the world to come. Amen. Amen. Prayer of the Faithful. On this feast of the Holy Trinity, let us pray to the Father in the name of the Son and ask for the help of his Holy Spirit for these many, many requests we have this morning. Let us pray for calmness in our city and in the cities throughout the United States during these days of unrest. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Let us pray for all of the victims of these unjust killings, that they may see God face to face and enjoy eternal peace in the kingdom forever. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for the church here in the Archdiocese and the church throughout this country, that it may offer hope and strength and peace in their prayers for all people during this time of unrest. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves who are praying this morning, that our intentions may be heard, and the Lord God, with the help of the Holy Spirit, may help us with our special needs. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our parish and all of its membership, that the Lord may bless us and respond to our needs, which we ask silently for a few moments. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all who have died, that they may rest in eternal peace. For this, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, Father of us all, we pray to you this morning in the name of your Son, Jesus, asking for the help of his Holy Spirit in response to our many requests. Please answer our prayers in your way and in your time. We ask them in faith, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the bread to offer, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. May it become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have the wine to offer, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. May it become for us a spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. Accept the sacrifice from your hand, praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of God. Amen. Sanctify by the invocation of your name, we pray, O Lord our God, this oblation of our service, and by it make our force an eternal offering to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for with your only begotten Son and the Holy Spirit, you are one God, one Lord not in the unity of a single person, but in the trinity of one substance. For what you have revealed to us of your glory, we believe equally of your Son and of the Holy Spirit, so that in the confession of the true and eternal Godhead, you might be adored in what is proper to each person, their unity in substance and their equality in majesty. For this is praised by angels and archangels, cherubims, two and seraphim, who never cease to cry out each day as with one voice they acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and the earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of our holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift to pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more gave thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we will pour out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Keep in mind that Jesus Christ has died for all and is risen from the dead. He is our saving Lord. He is joy for all ages. Therefore, as we celebrate, the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray 
that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Sean, our Bishop, and people of God everywhere. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. Remember all who have died in your mercy and welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Joseph, her faithful and loving husband, with the blessed apostles, St. Andrew, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and within and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and saved from all distress, as we are with the blessed hope, and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles and to all of us here this morning, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace and joy of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's share that peace with one another. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. This is Jesus Christ who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are we who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. So many are not able to receive communion here at the church this morning. Let us spend a moment in silence and accept this prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask and pray 
for you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not ever let me be separated from you. Let us pray. May receiving this sacrament to Lord our God bring us help of body and soul as we confess your eternal holy trinity and undivided unity through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you all for coming and I thank Father Sullivan who is always ready and always here to help. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks be to God. <laughs>